Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing boys. Sorry about that. That was my watch going off. But anyway, welcome to another episode of Let's Talk Racing with Eric Pate. I'm your host, Eric Pate. And welcome back to another episode. Or welcome to the show if this is your first time, first episode ever watching. And today we're going to be discussing um, what happened at the Ridge, after New Hampshire. Um, instead of, for now on, instead of points of the week, instead of points, we're going to be looking at the playoff picture just because we only have about seven races, roughly, to the NASCAR playoffs. Our, controver our controversy of the week, now we're going to, now since I'm not always going to have, like, a, a education portion what is going to take its place is going to be the controversy the controversy of the week it's going to be something like i don't know a wreck that too many people probably overreacted on or something that would take a spot as controversy of the week i mean we technically had one since episode 1 so uh, so i think it's a good good idea to include it into the show now so people can know my reactions, and of course, with the controversy of the week, we're always going to take, uh, we're always going to either watch it. But today, we normally watch it without the audio, with me giving my analysis. But with this week's controversy of the week, I can't really give you an analysis without us taking a listen first. Wet tires versus slicks. By the way, we used both of them this weekend, so. And my picks for Nashville. Hey, I'm doing a, I'm doing a video. Can you shut up? Sorry, I'm talking to my cat. Hey, why don't I hold him while we do this episode? So the first thing we're going to start off is the race results from the USA Today 301 with the Cup race. Now, letting you know, we had the same winner in both races this weekend, so don't be surprised if you see Christopher Bell twice. On top of both race results. Here we go. Again, as normal, the race results will also be in the description of this video. That's how I do it on my episodes. Is if you just want to, if you're just here just to get the race results, no, I'm not gonna ask you to stop watching. I'm gonna go ahead and ask you to check that description if you're looking for a specific driver. Now, with if you decided that. You rather want to hear the race results and figure out where your favorite driver finished with me reading them? Come right ahead. I like I just said, Christopher Bell finished first. Oh, number next to these drivers are not their numbers; they are the positions they finished in. So you will see that they will be in order of how they finished. Chase Briscoe was second. Funny thing, this was the controversy of the week. Josh Berry, 3rd, 4th, Kyle Larson, 5th, Chris Buescher, 6th, Tyler Reddick, 7th, Ricky Stenhouse, 8th, John Hunter Nemechek, 9th, Martin Truex, 10th, Ross Chastain, 11th, Ryan Priest, 12th, Todd Gillian, 13th, Eric Jones, Harrison Burton, 14th, 15th, Michael McDowell, Ty Gibbs, 16th, 17th, Carson Hosevar, 18th, Chase Elliott. In 19th position, we have Austin Sendrick, Ty Dillon, 20th. Dennis Warren, 21st. Kaz Grala, 22nd. Corey LaJoy, 23rd. 24th, Danny Hamlin. Ryan Blaney, 25th. William Byron, 26th. Noah Gregson, 27th. Brad Kozowski, 28th. 29th, we have Justin Haley, 30th. Zane Smith, 31st. General Hamrick, 32nd. Joey Logano, 33rd. Austin Dillon, 34th. Bubba Wallace, 35th. Kyle Busch, 36th. Was Alex Bowman. I really hate saying Kyle Busch's name second and last in the running order. I am waiting for the time this year I get to say his name with the number one next to it. The USA Today 301 stage results. The left side stage one, the right side stage two. That's how the results. That's how the stages are. Is the left side's gonna be stage one, the right side's gonna be stage two. Christopher Bell won the first stage. 
followed by Joey Logano, followed by Chase Elliott. In fourth, we have Ryan Blaney. Fifth, we have Josh Berry. Sixth, we have Martin Truex. Seventh was Denny Hamlin. Eighth was Ross Chastain. Ninth, Tyler Reddick. Tenth, Alex Bowman. Now, the reason why you see, real quick, the bullet point, and then the numbers, it's easier for me to copy and paste into the description this way. Denny Hamlin won the second stage. Second was Mark Truex. Third was Joey Logano. Fourth was Christopher Bell. Fifth was Iron Blaney. Todd Gillen was sixth. Seventh was Kyle Larson. Josh Berry, eighth. Ninth, Chase Elliott. Tenth, Ross Chastain. For the X Xfinity ways to say apps, 200 re um, results. Um, I have a next week. I'm going to do something a little different, and I'm going to see if you guys like it better. Um, I'm just going to cut off while we're on the race results here and talk about it. I'm thinking about doing the stage results first in both episodes, in, in next week's episode. So, letting you guys know that we might. I'm going to do the stage results first next week instead of the race results. And then probably do it inverted. Like, have the last place guy first. And then we go down the list. And I'm going to. I'm going to. Uh, and let me know if you guys like that. It's going to be the same thing for the stages. Like, the 10th place stage person all the way down to the first. Um, only reason why I'm doing top 10 for the stages is that's who gets points. And so I'm just doing the top 10. I'm not going to waste my time trying to figure out where the other however many guys finished. Anyway, Christopher Bell was our race winner. I forgot. This was the race results. Uh, I got so sidetracked to stages that I thought this was the stage results. That My bad. Number two, Sheldon Creed. Number three, Cole Custer. Number four, Justin Allgaier. Number five, Carson Cobble. Ryan Sieg, sixth. Parker Klugerman, seventh. Eighth was Riley Hurst. Ninth was Alex Bowman. Tenth, Corey Heim. Eleventh, AJ Amendinger. Twelfth, Sammy Smith. Jesse Love, thirteenth. Fourteenth, Brendan Jones. Fifteenth, Chandler Smith. Sixteenth, Brendan Poole. Seventeenth, Jeb Burton. Eighteenth, Shane Van Gisbergen. Nineteenth, Sam Mayer. 20th, we have Anthony Alfredo. 21st, Jeremy Clements. 22nd, Justin bon Bonsignor. Sorry if I said that wrong. Josh Williams, 23rd. 24th, we have Austin Hill. 25th, Kyle Weatherman. 26th, Parker Retzlaff. Blaine Perkins, 27th. 29th, Glenn Reen. Garrett Smith, 29th. 30th, we have Mason Massey. 31st, we have Kyle Sieg. 32nd, Haley Deegan. 33rd, Armani Williams. 34th, Patrick Emmerling. 35th, Ryan Ellis. 36th, Nathan, Nathan Bolt Bird. Or Nathan Bird. Leland Hunneman. 38th, 37th, and 38th, Matt DiBenedetto. Okay. I need to put D. DQ instead of 38th by De Benedetto. That's how it would be. Uh, De Benedetto originally finished. I couldn't remember where he eventually finished, but there was three lug nuts, more three or more lug nuts that were not secured. Is what I think happened to where De Benedetto did fail post race inspection, and I think he was like, I think he was in the 20s. I think, and again, like I mentioned. Um, when we did have the episode um, post Charlotte and pre uh, more white technology, um, I had to do that episode on Tuesday because um, I was I was gonna be very busy the rest of the week and I wasn't gonna be able to get the episode out. And yeah, I managed to get off by decent time on Tuesday and I just had to quickly get everything gathered up. But anyway, um, and we talked about Corey Heim failing inspection for. Actually, something very similar. He failed inspection for lug nuts. Reason why we don't see that in a cup series is because we just have to see the lug nut. I meant to put stage results, but for this race, so what? Here's the stage results: Sam Mayer first, second, Sammy, 
Sammy Smith. Um, that meant that meant to say Sammy Smith, not Sam Mayer. Riley Hurst third, AJ Amendinger fourth, fifth Justin Allgaier, sixth Alex Bowman, seventh Carson Coffle, eighth Ryan Sieg, ninth Jeb Burton, tenth Justin Bossinger. Christopher Bell won the second stage. Justin Bossinger was second, third Cole Custer, fourth Sheldon Creed, fifth Chandler Smith, sixth Justin Allgaier, seventh Corey Heim, eighth Brendan Jones, ninth Austin Hill, and tenth Parker Kligerman. Now again, uh, what I might do so y'all could kind of see the difference is I might have like the Xfinity results in normal order, Xfinity or Truck Series results in normal order depending on how many people are going to be in the cup race. If I do the truck results in the invert order and then have like the cup and Xfinity results in the other order, in the order you see guys see right now, but do still do the stage results first. And tell me if you guys rather want me to go ahead and start inverting the results and we present it that way. Or you guys want me to keep it the way it is. Just try and figure out some ways to keep it going. Cup Series Playoff Picture Time. Now, th I was just going to do points, but I figured, you know what? It's, let's just get rid of the points for now. Let's get rid of the points until next season. Oh, let's take a look at the updated Cup Series playoffs. Green bold means they're locked in. Um, regular green means they're still trying to find a way to get locked in. Red means, regular red means they can still make it. Bold red, have to win. Alright. This might be by paragraph. But Kyle Larson, with his three wins at Kansas Sonoma and Kansas Sonoma, brain fart. Give me a second. What other race did he win? What other race did Kyle Larson win this year? I'm sorry, I'm just having a brain fart right now. I know he won Kansas. Oh, Las Vegas. Ha! <laughs> it just came back to me. Oh my god. Wait, Las Vegas. Denny Hamlin with wins at Richmond, Bristol, and Dover. Christopher Bell with the wins in the Coke 600, our last race. Are literally our last race. And Phoenix. William Byron got the wins in the Daytona. Our Daytona 500 winner. Martinsville. And Circuits of the Americas. Chase Elliott got a win at Texas. Tyler Reddick got a win at Talladega. Ryan Blaney won Iowa last week. By Kuzowski won Do um, Darlington. Daniel Suarez won Atlanta. Austin Sindrick won Worldwide Technology. Now, I can pretty much... Now, the only reason I have a bold Martin Truex is, like I said, we still probably have eight or seven races yet to finish off the year, and we can easily have that many different winners. So, if we happen to have a repeat winner next week, expect Martin Truex to go ahead and get bolded. Unless Martin Truex does win at uh, Nashville. Now, if he does win at Nashville, of course, his, his name's going to get bolded just like that. But it, Martin Truex can probably, I would say, we can go ahead and clinch Truex in after this weekend. We can probably comfortably go ahead and put Martin Truex Jr. in the playoffs. I do see a couple repeat people who has won this year to go ahead and win again. I see, um, I mean, this weekend at Nashville, we'll get into it in just a few moments. I see Hendrick guy winning. One of the, maybe one of the three who has already won. So we can go ahead and, and and I would say like if William Byron or Chase Elliott or or Kyle Larson wins Nashville, we can go ahead and confidently say Martin Truex Jr. is more than likely going to make the Cup Series playoffs. 
So that's why his name's not bolded quite yet. But he has over 155 points above the cut line. Chastain has 93 points above. Ty Gibbs has 82 points above. Alex Bowman, 59th. Chris Buescher, 50th. Last week, his name wasn't red, but we got to move him to the green category. Joey Logano is plus 13. Bob Wallace moved his name into red. Negative 13. Chase Briscoe, that meant to say, I think, 23 or a different number, but it says 83. But that meant, I, that meant to say a different number, either 33. I think 33, I may have saw it by an 8, so that's my bad. Kyle Bush is 45 below. Josh Berry, 73. I would pretty much say that's a must-win situation. God, Todd Gilliland, we can definitely say that's a must-win situation. And Michael McDowell, that's a definitely must-win situation. Let's take a look at the Xfinity playoffs now. Chandler Smith with his wins at Phoenix and Richmond. Austin Hill with his wins at Daytona and Atlanta. Sam Mayer, Iowa and Texas. Shane Bingo's Bergen, Portland and Sonoma. Justin Allgaier, Darlington. Jesse Love at Talladega. Cole Custer. We can pretty much... We're pretty much just going to go ahead and lock Custer in at this point. At this point, we're pretty much just going to go ahead. Cole, you're making the playoffs. There's nine races left in regular season. Cole, there's no way. There's no way you're going to blow a 200-point lead. And how you're probably going to get locked in with a win before too long. Sheldon Creed is plus 100. I don't feel quite confident with him yet if we're going to clinch him in. Riley right, Hurst is about 94. Still not quite confident. Adrian Dinger is plus 59th. Parker Kligman, 52. Sammy Smith is plus 31. Ryan Teague is minus 31. Anthony Alfredo, minus 71. Brandon Jones, minus 82. Pretty much has to win. Brandon Poole, negative 182. Has to win. And Parker Letts up, 128. Has to win. The controversy of the week. Well, luckily this week it was nothing on track, luckily. Well, I would kind of say the debate on... We put the t rain tires... I would probably argue we did put the rain tires on a little too late. And with this one, though... Instead of the instead of us watching the video and giving my reaction, in order for me to actually give a good analysis, we are gonna actually have to take a listen to what Mr. Christopher Bell said. During the press conference, Christopher Bell accidentally revealed he was gonna replace Martin Truex in nineteen car. Christopher unfortunately did face a lot of backlash. Fans were saying that it was on purpose. The way the look to me on his face, the way the look on his, the way Bell looked to me was he accidentally said it. He did. I don't think he meant to. But luckily today, it was confirmed, and we will have to go to the silly season sheet and fix. If we haven't fixed Drake Briscoe yet, we are going to fix him, and we're going to go ahead and highlight him in green to say that that spot. That, that is confirmed. So with the silly season sheet, instead of me just marking in red, what we are going to do is we're going to fix it to what was said, like what was confirmed, and then highlight it in green. Anyway, let's actually take a look. Now I only start. I'm going to start it at the part to where he said what he said, and then we're going to stop it shortly after. Let's take a listen to what. C. Bell said. He is a, a, a leadership role in that as, aspect. Um, you know, and, and whenever Chase comes into the car... <laughs> whenever... Some, whenever... I don't even know what to say. Whenever we have a new driver into the 19 car... <laughs> whenever... You could say... You could tell that he constantly was like... Like, as soon as he said Chase, it took him a couple seconds, and he realized that he said his name and accidentally gave it away. People were thinking Chase Elliott. I, I knew, I know, I knew from a minute, the very second he said that, that he meant Chase Briscoe. Knowing Chase Elliott, he is not leaving Hendrick Motorsports anytime soon. I don't think he's going to leave Hendrick Motorsports 
any time soon. So we can just go ahead and roll that. I, I mean, I rolled out almost immediately. I rolled out almost immediately. Rolled out almost immediately. Chase Elliott. I knew he was referring to Chase Briscoe. Because knowing Chase Elliott, he is not going to stay at um, Hendrick Mo That he is going to stay at Hendrick Motorsports. I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna pull Jimmy Johnson, and Jeff Gordon, and stay with Hendrick his whole career. So we can pretty much. So when he said Chase, I immediately he knew knew he was talking about Chase Briscoe because Chase Briscoe was looking for a ride. Anyway, education time. What are we talking about this? Really is a, a a leadership role in that as aspect. Sorry, I accidentally started again. Shout out to Front Stretch. Oh, we're looking at tires today. Oh Lord. Eric, we all know what tires are. I know. But we're talking about two different types of tires today. Why not talk about two different types of tires? So, we're going to talk about the difference between slick tires, which is what we see here, and rain tires. Now, you can already you can already tell there's a difference because if you look really closely at where my cursor is, is that there's no like actual tread on the slick tires in this photo. Now, if we go to this photo, these tires look like the tires that's on my car, my mom's car, my brother's car. Uh, my, uh, my co-workers' cars. So, these tires look like the tires that we see on the road every day. These tires, we don't really see very much. So, we're talking about six today. Six, we usually see at every NASCAR race. NASCAR uses these tires usually. These tires have no tread on them, as we can tell by this picture. We will see this tire every week. If weather is bad enough, example, Mark, at the fall, any of the following tracks, um, Martinsville, Bristol, Richmond, Watkins Glen, Sonoma, Iowa, New Hampshire, Circuits of the Americas, Chicago Street Course, Charlotte Roble, they will put on the other kind of tire that we're going to be discussing here in about, um, here in about two seconds. Weather tires. What are weather tires? Again, like I just mentioned, weather tires and NASCAR are used on short tracks or road courses. If it is raining on road courses, if it's if there's rain on road courses, we can use this tire. Now, next week, I'm going to talk about the modifications we do make to a car on road courses. We are going to talk about that next week. Um, just because we have Chicago coming up, we're going to talk about it. Because we might know any of around weather around the Chicago this time of year. I think coming from somebody who got to, who had a weather delay before at Chicago Midway. Um, now, if it's raining at a short track, NASCAR won't use this tire, but the tire has no. But if the if the track has no standing water after a shower, NASCAR will make teams put these on. These teams can, these tires can only be put on author, with authorization from NASCAR on non-competitive pit stops. Now, what? Now you might ask. What is the difference between competitive and non-competitive pit stops? Now, a lot of times when you do, if you do watch NASCAR race on TV and you see guys like running around the cars, changing tires, and they're doing it in like 13 seconds or 11 seconds or something, that's competitive. Now, on non-competitive pit stops, NASCAR will usually be like, okay, you got two minutes to make any modifications. So teams will work as quickly as possible in those two two minutes to try to figure um, now here's the thing no one is allowed to work on the car until every car is in their pit box on a non-competitive pit stop so like if I'm if I'm the race leader and they call non-competitive pit stop pit stop and let's say my pit box is middle pit row well let's say the Pullman Motoring's pit box is more than likely going to be at pit row exit. And we'll say the, and we'll say the pole winner is behind me. Running second behind me. I'm a race leader. Now, when I pull into my pit box, my crew is not allowed to go over the wall until every single car that's in the race is in their pit box. And then they can jump over the wall and then start working on my car. And then if then I can start I can start moving if they happen to get done before those two minutes are up. But 
Now it's a first in, first out rule with non competitive pit stops. If I was the first car in pit row, I have to be the first car out. Or if Christopher Bell is the 10th car on pit, in pit row, he has to be the 10th car out. Chase Briscoe, ninth car on pit row, ninth car out. So on, so on, so on, so on. So, we'll get, I get more into detail of not competitive pit stops. The very next race, we happen to have one. Time for my picks for the Ally 400. Now, you can see that I decided to put the Ally 400 thing on the right side instead of the left side. Just because the colors I put the names in saw out a little bit better on the darker side. So, here we go. I picked Kyle Larson. He, he has one win at Nashville and also one win at Dover. If you can win at Dover, you, you should be able to have a good shot at Nashville. Chase Elliott's a two-time Dover winner, and he was our actually Nashville winner in 2022. Alex Bowman was our 2021 Dover winner. Like I said, if you can win at Dover, you can win at Nashville. And you can have a shot to win at Nashville. Like I just said, Martin Truex won Dover four times. He should be able to have a shot to win Nashville. Ross Chastain. Was well, actually our Nashville winner last year. I know, but dominated, but he he led a good third of the race. That was about it. Denny Hamlin won our last two concrete races, and our dark horses. I just feel like Josh Bray has been coming on strong more than Ty Gibbs lately, so that's why Ty Gibbs is not in this one. So, I just feel like Josh Bray has a better shot than Ty Gibbs. Now, let's get to the silly season sheet. And we are back into our silly season sheet. Now, I mentioned earlier that when I made this change, it, it was only because it was rumored. But like I just said, effective this video, what is going to happen is as soon as something is confirmed, we're fried. I am going to just put in the ride put in the driver put in the ride go to the driver put the ride next to him and highlight it in green um i'm just gonna go ahead and highlight ty gibbs here as well i do not see no one joe gibbs he is not gonna get rid of ty gibbs that easily from joe gibbs racing so we're just gonna go ahead and put him in green as well and I'm still waiting here on track house, but I'm pretty sure Suarez is going to stay at the 99. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tell you my, my pre I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Eric Jones is going to stay at Legacy, and I'm pretty sure Tyler Reddick is going to stay at 2311, and I'm pretty sure Dylan Suarez is going to stay at the 99. So I'm still going to go with those three. Um, the rest I'm still kind of sleeping on. All I know is Kyle can just flat out surprise everyone and say that he's going to retire at the end of the year, which I won't be surprised, and I won't, and I'll probably be sad about it. Anyway, like, subscribe, comment, favorite, be nice, go be awesome, Eric Fade, don't hate. See you later. Check flags in the air.